Hello everyone, I'm Simone, tech specialist from Kiloview. This is the video unboxing of the N6, our HDMI, NDI and NDIHX 1080p encode decode unit. In a further hesitation, let's open the box and see what's inside. In the box you can see our data, our warranty card, the quick start manual, the encoder itself. We do have, of course, the 12 volts power supply. In my case, I do have the EU adapter. You can, of course, have UK or US depending on your country. The USB-C to USB adapter, I will show you later in the video what it can be done. And the odd shoe mount. Let's see the back of the unit. We do have the Ethernet port with the PoE, the HDMI 1080p input, the HDMI output, the analog in-out depending on whether embedding or de-embedding, and actually the DC power. In the front of the unit, we have the soft touch back and rear and actually the uh, select button within the USB Type-C in the front. Let's now power on the device. We're gonna use the power over Ethernet cable. Just plug in the cable and you see the unit will start to boot. The KiloView logo appear and now we're gonna jump in into the menu. This is the screen of the N6. In the first menu here, you see the CPU, the memory usage, the firmware, and actually the temperature of the core. If we select here, we do have the keyboard clicks where we can enable or disable the audio for every tap we do, the reboot button, the screen protector to enable or disable screen protection to go off, the restore factory reset. In the second menu with the NDI, we can decide both the encoder mode or decoder mode without accessing the web UI. And also select the source if we use HDMI or we use the USB webcam input. In the NDIHX, we can also select encoder or decoder and actually select the quality of the stream from superior to poor. And even, and even here select whether HDMI or USB. In this network tab, you can see DHCP because now it's taking the DHCP from my router. But we can also configure this into manual IP address by turning off the DHCP mode and select whether the octets we want to change and basically give it the number we want to have. Do you remember the USB-C to USB-A adapter? With the new firmware update, you can actually use it to connect webcam and transcode into NDI. If I take the cable and put it on the front of the unit and take, for example, a webcam like this, connect the two units together, I can cycle through the menu here and select the actual output to be rather USB instead of, N of HDMI. If you get back, you see the lights on the webcam appear, so you can actually transcode your webcam back to NDI. This is the web UI of the N6. As you can see, we do have the preview video of what we have ingested the resolution, the codec we are using, and through all this menu here, we can decide like the scale, the name of the channel, the video in the video tab, we can decide HDMI, or if we have the USB, we can select from here. We can also select the audio channels, rather HDMI input or analog and also the HX conversion like HX3, HX2 and the codec. Of course, from here we change it to the coder mode, the NDI 8 bandwidth version, 
and on, on here all the settings we can have discovery server for NDI, the network tab, the PTZ control and all the various settings. I hope you like this video and stay tuned for more to come. You can always reach us at www.kiloview.com and for any technical support send us an email to support at kiloview.com. See you in the next one.